the crops removed from fields across Saskatchewan help feed the world. But what about the stuff that's left behind after the harvest? If you look at, at straw left over, for example, just, just straw from wheat, barley, um, canola and oats, I believe there's, it's, I'm not sure about the scale, but it's in the tens of megatons of straw produced every year, um, just in Saskatchewan. While the residues from crops have some uses for animal feed or other applications, it often has to be trucked away or burned on the field. Scientists at the Saskatchewan Research Council are working on a method of converting these remnants into higher value materials. The residue is placed into this machine where it meets steel shot that has been heated to 500 degrees Celsius. And when that contacts in the unit, contacts the wheat straw, you get that very quick whoosh vaporization of material. So that contact between the hot shot and our wheat straw is basically your, your pyrolysis. The pyrolysis leads to three byproducts oil, which can be converted into heating fuel, a solid char material, which is also combustible, but can be used as a soil additive, and a gas that is reused within the machine itself to heat the component which dries the raw material. And the reason we have the dryer is you want your material, your wheat material, to be quite dry. Because the more water you have left in your biomass, the more water you're going to end up with your, in your bio oil that you're going to want to remove. So we use that right on the unit so we can reduce, for example, how much propane we're using. The idea of pyrolysis isn't an entirely new one. What makes the SRC research different is they are exploring ways to make the technology mobile and therefore more accessible and economical for agricultural producers. Things like wheat straw, uh, they're expensive to transport, right? Because you have a large volume of low value material that you're moving around. So instead you can bring the unit to the residues and then, for example, be transporting a product like the bio oil. Dr. Powell says we are likely a few years away from the technology being commercially viable. But if the research continues to show promise, it could have a tremendous impact. They have experimented with wheat and flax straw and even poultry litter. And up to a ton of residue could be processed by a given machine per day, encompassing a wide array of waste products. There's even uh, been studies done in using things like tires. You could technically pyrolyze, yeah, a wide variety of materials. From the Saskatchewan Research Council, I'm Simon Hyatt reporting.